Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the first wave of Candy Toy Guts Hyper Keys from Ultraman Trigger. I picked these up over at Toe Collectibles, so definitely head over there if you're trying to find these. This first wave consists of six kaiju. We have Gomera, Eliking, Wyndham, Bolton, Melba, I think this one's called, and then Kiri Eroid, which I'm not super familiar with the last one. I think he's from Tiga, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed a vinyl of him uh, somewhat recently, but yeah, I think it's Kiri Eroid. So there it is. But in any case, six kaiju keys here. You can see the packaging is pretty basic. You just have a picture of Trigger here with the key itself featured very prominently here on the front. Over here, it does show you the lineup and of course advertises that they do work with the DX Gut Spark lens, which of course we'll take a look at in a moment. Otherwise, really just some warnings and other things I can't really read. And then just kind of shows you here on the top which one it is as well. So the front of the packaging is definitely the most exciting. Let's go ahead, let's get these guys out of the box, apply any stickers that need to be applied, and then we'll take a closer look. All right, so I have them all out of the box and stickers applied. We'll take a look here. The first one is M01 Gomera. Now, the nice thing about the candy toy keys, they're one solid piece in the box, so all you have to do is apply the sticker, as opposed to the Gashapon one that comes in two separate pieces that you have to connect first and then apply the sticker. So these are definitely a little bit sturdier, definitely more solid. Now, there are no electronics in these, just like the Gashapon ones. There is the compartment here where the batteries would normally go, but no way to insert them. You do have the rail system here, C051. The button is present, even though it doesn't do anything. And the two buttons in the top section here are also absent. So they're very similar to the Gashapon ones. Just really the main difference is that they come in one solid piece instead of two to snap together. But sticker on the front looks really cool. Done in that kind of stained glass window style. I really like that a lot. Let's go ahead and pop it into the Guts Spark Lens. Next up, we have Ella King. Next up, we have Wyndham.
Next up we have Bolton. I love the evil laugh. Next up we have Melba. And then last but not least, Kieroid. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but hey, we'll hear it correctly in a minute. Yeah, that was close. So six more Kaiju Guts Hyper Keys to add to the collection. I'm having a lot of fun with these, honestly. I really like the gimmick this year. Yes, it would be more exciting if they had their own sound effects, but I understand from a cost-saving measure they decided not to have the Gashapon and Candy Toy Keys have their own sounds. But they still make sounds in the DX Guts Spark Lens, which is really cool. Uh, they are a little bland, just completely cast in black. You know, maybe if they had mixed it up a little bit, but I understand they're kind of going for a motif here where all of the monsters or kaiju are going to be solid black, which I guess makes sense. Black is usually the color they use when it comes to the gimmicks for monsters, so I guess they're being uniform in that. Uh, I really like the stickers. I think that stained glass window motif is really cool art style choice for these, and the way they get me is just by individually numbering them. That definitely makes me want to collect all of them and track down any holes in the collection so that I have all of the numbers. That's They know how to get me. That's how they trick me into buying all of them. But I think they're fun. They're relatively inexpensive, and as long as they're not too hard to come by, I'll try to get as many of them as I can. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I think these guys are fun and definitely recommend checking them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.